<laughs> okay, what do we got going on here? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, boy, boy. So, Biden team may partner with private firms to monitor extremist chatter online. Oh, Jesus. So, basically, Jesus what they're Christ. doing is, what, what the Biden administration wants to do is get around that pesky whole, you know, like, the right to privacy Civil rights? thing in I mean, the Constitution. I mean, you know, they, they want to get around those pesky rights. The Bill of Rights the way. A thing? is a thing that the president has to abide by? What? Yeah, no, no. Come on, me surprised. He's, he's above that. So basically what they want to do is uh, team up with, uh, you know, social media and private companies to, to spy on chatter and uh, what you say, what you text, oh. what your phone calls and stuff like that. Because apparently... The companies don't <laughs> have to abide by those rules, apparently. I thought they did, but I don't know. Uh, so no. anyway, it, private companies. Uh, it, it's it's a, what's that? A, private companies is a slippery slope uh, yeah, right now. You're telling me because because people are, people are saying that uh, oh Facebook can do can ban whoever they want because they're a private company, but God forbid somebody doesn't want to make a gay wedding cake. Yep. Yep. No kidding. <laughs> So the Biden administration is considering using outside firms to track extremist chatter by Americans online, an effort that would expand the government's ability to gather intelligence, but could draw criticism over surveillance of U.S. citizens. Yeah, <laughs> you think? George Orwell uh, Depart- called. He wants his fiction back. Yeah. The Department <laughs> of Homeland Security is limited in how it can monitor citizens online without justification and is banned from activities like assuming false identities to gain access Ooh. to private messaging apps used by extremist groups such as the Proud Boys or Oath Keepers. Uh, Proud Boys is not extremist, and Oath Keepers, I don't know what they are. So, um, Proud got Boys, no comment there. No, it's interesting. Proud Boys, they literally just want to go hang out and drink beers. And when they show up somewhere to hang out and drink beers, the Antifa pussies show up and try to fight them. And then they fight back, and they're like, what? what? Why did you do that? Why did you knock me the fuck out? <laughs> do, I have to say, do I have to say it again? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Exactly. Both, both groups, both groups, are like, like, what is it? Uh, no, uh, the Proud Boys, they, they, are, um, they aren't that bad, but they also kind of go out and antagonize a little bit, though. Yeah, but who doesn't at the same time? I like that they call them a white supremacist group, but they literally have a, uh, they literally have, uh, Enrique Tario, who is, like, Hispanic. He's, like, he's, like, Cuban-American. That's Something the like leader that, of the yeah. group. Yeah. A, a literal brown guy is a leader of the group. <laughs> of the white supremacists. Okay. Yeah. Good going. All right. Oh, All right, sorry. no, wait, 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 Ike. It's that internalized... Uh, white supremacy it's like it's like oh you're you're just a house inward if you if you right. just if you disagree with us yeah i yeah i actually almost said it <laughs> <laughs> how did i how did we get banned from youtube <laughs> yeah. so right, if sorry. we scrolled if we scroll down here a little bit all of our work to address the threat of domestic terrorism is done consistent uh with right, the is. constitution of, and other applicable law and in close coordination with our privacy and civil liberties experts. See, it's those, mm, it's those darn pesky laws and that constitution that keeps getting in the way. That pesky but the department has, but the department has considered partnering with research firms who have more visibility in this space, though it has not done so to this point. The sources say. Uh, I wonder what those sources are. Uh, if that ultimately happens. Uh, DHS could produce information that would likely be beneficial to both it and the FBI, which can't monitor U.S. citizens in the in this way without first getting a warrant or having the pretext of an ongoing investigation. The CIA and NSA are also limited in collecting intelligence domestically. Oh, darn it! This, that, darn it! Those damn those damn God given rights that the founders <laughs> gave us, like no. They didn't give it to us. They protected them. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead. Because uh, in the Constitution, it says, it doesn't say the government is giving you these rights. It's uh, the Constitution is set up to protect those rights. 
it what is it endowed by your creator is what it says in the right. constitution so yeah, we have and, we have essentially our god-given rights that the u.s government can't infringe on that's and that's that's the thing that and we've talked about this a little bit and i've, I've made a video on my own channel about it that like like it's the, the the constitution doesn't give you the rights these yeah. are rights that cannot be taken that you have these rights when you're born you're a, you're a citizen they're given your by your creator whatever and they the government cannot take these from you and that's what's different about our constitution compared mm -hmm. to other constitutions in the world so but yeah, that's that's all I really want to bring up with this is that it's it's really scary that they're getting around this pesky these pesky laws by once again working with corporations that they're in bed with to spy on you because they think every this, citizen is a terrorist apparently. This is almost as bad or <laughs> just as bad. They're using the January 6th insurrection, I'm always going to say that in quotes, as a guise to enact new, um, uh, what is it, Patriot Act laws, or similar right. laws, because they use the 9-11 um, terrorist attack as a reason to enact a bunch of new, like, laws that were definitely unconstitutional at the time. Yeah. And yeah. are still, like, we still have them on the books, and they're still kind of unconstitutional. I have a right to privacy.